This is DMG and we're making coffins. Bring out your dead. Okay, so the winner of my 2500 subscriber competition got to pick what this topic was. There were a lot of entries and unsurprisingly, there were a lot of people who wanted to have torture chambers. But instead I've chosen Chirizard 221's coffin idea. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing here. Uh, so I'm grabbing uh, um, five popsicle sticks and I'm going to stick three of them together. So these popsicle sticks need to be more than 10 centimeters long. Um, well, you can get shorter ones if you want, but uh, you'd have to modify this build. So I'm just going to hot glue down the long sides and stick them together. And I'm going to wipe off any excess glue when it is cooled slightly so I don't burn myself. All right, then I'm going to measure out the 10 centimeters, make sure I don't, I don't want those curl bits at the end, so I'm going to cut them off. So I measure out 10 centimeters and then measure five centimeters into the middle and rule a line across, connecting the dots. So I did the uh, dots on both sides. And then I'm just going to cut off the curved bits on the end. So we now have a long straight piece and then just cut straight through the middle. So I now have two five centimeter long planks or boards and from the edge the one edge I'm measuring two centimeters in on both boards and then I'm going to go diagonally from that measurement to the um, edge of the center plank so at, from the uh, two centimeter mark to the edge of the center plank in both directions and that's going to form the basic shape of the coffin and uh, from there it'll be a lot easier to uh, guide and cut out what we're doing. And then I'll just repeat the same process on the other one as well. And I just make sure that they're aligned both sides, everything is flush and correct. Measure twice, cut once. And, and then I'm just cutting along those lines to get rid of the, uh, the edges and that forms the shape of the coffin. So what we're going to do next is we're going to build up the sides of the coffin. So, uh, so we just check that everything is flush. That's all fine. A few people have asked me about when cutting these uh, pieces of wood, um, am I using some sort of special scissors? No, these are just basic kitchen scissors that uh, you would normally use to cut through chicken bones and things. Um, and I'm using very, very, very cheap tongue depressors. So the wood is not exactly high quality, but it doesn't need to be. So now what I'm doing is I'm just measuring the edges against uh, the piece of the tongue depressor, the lollipop stick. And uh, I'm just going to cut those out and start to stick them on. I will need extra edges, but I'll just do that um, when I've run out here. And it's just basically run some hot glue along the uh, flat edge. And uh, you can do just one at a time. I'm doing two, but you need to do pretty quick otherwise the glue hardens and then you have to uh, scrape it off and start again. So again uh, on top not on the sides I'm placing those boards and then once the glue is dried I'm just placing more. It doesn't take very long to, for the glue to harden. It happens pretty quickly and I'm just sticking the pieces there so everything is uh, glued on the edges and then placing along the edge of the previous plank and then along the flat board and putting in the extra side everything must be flush and now I'm just measuring those extra edges we talked about earlier and cut them out and uh, apply them with the hot glue so um, the final piece which I put on here um, I'm basically going to put it on as one long piece and as you can see the original one at the foot that I put on is slightly higher than the rest uh, now I like to do that so that it will help stick down the uh, top board. Now you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Uh, it's just something I did for effect. Uh, you can cut it flush. Um, so essentially I just put that on so that I could keep a bit of a lip to it. And uh, now I'm just going to apply the top part 
to the coffin. Now you don't have to do the step if you want to have an open coffin, uh, just leave it off and so then you'd be able to put the, the painting then you'd have to paint the interior as well. All I'm doing here is once the glue is dried I'm just cutting off any bits that are sticking out and on the lid I'm now applying some hot glue and I'm just going to apply some of those curved pieces that I ch trimmed off earlier just to have some sort of emblem part you could put a holy symbol or something on there or a ward or anything can basically go on there just to give it a little bit of a, uh, a special look so now I've based it with the black spray paint as in video 3 and I'm now applying, applying um, straight brown acrylic paint and I'll just use Boots of Speed to speed up the process here now it uh, this is very similar to the wooden door uh, video where I did the same and um, we're just going to make it sort of look a bit rot uh, a bit rotten so I'm going to add some yellow in after this so just a dash of yellow and then I'm just going to sort of almost dry brush it but not really it's still wet um, just applying small amounts of yellow so not large amounts of yellow just small amounts of yellow using Boots of Speed just to speed it up and uh, you, so it gives you a really muddy sort of brown it, it will dry darker um, so I'm going to apply some white now this I'm just getting rid of excess paint on the edge of the uh, little bowl there and then I'm just going to dust the white paint on so rather than paint it on really basically just skimming over the edges to pick up the detail of the wood and uh, concentrating more on the edges to uh, bring out the uh, detail of the edges and you can see it really brings out the wooden texture and it sort of gives it that old wooden box look which is uh, exactly what we're going for in a dungeon scenario you can imagine that these have been down here for hundreds of years and you can uh, apply wisps or a little bit of cotton wool or something for cobwebs if you want so that's what it will look like on a tile with a bit of few skeletons roaming around protecting whoever the overlord is so that's simple easy coffins now you can obviously create this without the lid on it you merely just don't glue the lid to there and then you can stick a little skeleton 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 mini inside we'll be showing you how to do these soon so if you like this video you know what to do that's right like button <laughs> If you want to see what I've been up to, you can check out my Facebook page. There's also my website, thedmg.info, with a whole lot of other interesting stuff. And uh, there's an email newsletter that goes out semi-regularly. And you can also check out the DMs Craft forums for more interesting people who do interesting things similar to this. I also urge you to check out DM Scotty's The DMs Craft video channel, where you can learn a lot of other stuff, which this is mainly based on. All right. 